What's up, everybody? Um, today, I'm gonna tinker around with the suspension on the Wraith here. Um, been having all kinds of issues. Uh, steep inclines, uh, suspension is just dropping out, something serious. And uh, this West Coast trip coming up, uh, I need to get something figured out. So, I'm gonna try a couple things here. Um, I'm gonna try like a semi droop setup with the pin spring mod. Um, I've got a few different size springs here to tinker around with. Um, and then I'm also gonna try um, just going back to the regular uh, sprung shock and then after watching a bunch of exo caged rc videos just uh wrap these around the links and the chassis and that'll kind of limit my dropout but i'll still have full articulation the problem with the pin spring mod even when these fully compress um like you're still losing some travel there overall. So, kind of like where the rear is right now, it seems to perform pretty good, but the front definitely got to get something figured out. So, tinker around with this, um, kind of show a little bit of what I'm doing and do a little bit of testing and we'll go from there.
this. I just wanted to show the difference between the uh, completely sprung and the uh, semi-droop. Over here, I've got, uh, let's see if I can get these tore apart here. This shock here, I've actually got this tiny little spring underneath of the piston inside the shock body. So it's actively pulling the shock, you know, more closed rather than the traditional sprung, which is pushing it open all the time. So that helps your body from flipping back and uh, steep descents and whatnot. Um, but when you've got this spring inside of here, you don't get full articulation because even though it's a very tiny spring, once it's fully compressed inside of the shock body, you know, you've still got probably a few middle millimeters worth of uh, suspension travel that you're losing. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put just the regular traditionally sprung shocks back on the brace and then I'm going to try to limit that dropout with a bungee cord and we'll see what happens there. So for the bungee cord and sprung springs, what I did, it'd be kind of hard to see, but I wrapped the bungee cord around the top links and then up around the cage and back onto the cage itself. So what that does is I still have full articulation, full shock travel, but those bungee cords actually help suck the front end back down so that it doesn't unload on itself. So we will go give this a shot and see how it does.
little underhook there. There we go. Okay, final conclusion. I think that the winner for today is going to be the $2 Walmart bungee cords. Um, I do want to try out some different weight shock oil, um, but that's gonna have to wait for another week or so. Uh, with this trip coming up, I'm not gonna be able to get any in time and the only hobby store that's anywhere around close to me is only open on Saturdays. So that's not gonna leave me any time to do this before I go on my trip. So stock TRX four shocks, stock shock weight oil. I did nothing special here. Um, the pen spring mod with, you know, semi droop set up. Um, I just, it limited my shock travel too much. I feel like that could be a great setup if I got some longer shocks. Um, but for what I've got currently on hand, uh, that just, that limits it too much. Um, so I think that this uh, rubber band, or rubber band, the bungee cord uh, setup is definitely going to be the way I'm going to go with it for now. Um, thought about maybe trying it on the rear and just leaving it a little loose, but honestly, the way that this thing performs in the rear end as is, I'm fine with it. So. Um, do you have, let's see if we can get up in there. There we go. As it sits under its own weight, I've got about the same amount of shock shaft showing with the bungee as I did with the semi droop pin spring setup. The difference is I've got all of my travel with this. So I think that's definitely the winner for today. Um, I'll make another video once I get some different weight oils and uh, we'll do some testing on that as well. So I'm not sure if I'll have another run video of the Wraith before I go out west. But uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.